And where was I? Oh! He should be so lucky. I am Brooke Davis. Brooke Penelope Davis. Exactly. Besides, what has he ever even said to make me think he's worth my time? What's underneath all the clothes, Brooke Davis? How old are you again? Alright. One more scoop for the boy genius, but don't tell your mom. Come on. Something, you know that? I get shot, and you're the one that needs consoling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Do I lift? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, God, he's so strong. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> no, do it again, do it again. Am I not happy? No. I got Go. This is so broke down, pal. I can't believe I got arrested for wearing a stupid tank top. Remember I told you you should have done your laundry? I got arrested for wearing one of your stupid tank tops that you stole. Well, sheesh. I guess we know who the cell block top's gonna be. Brooke, this isn't funny. This is going on my permanent record on my college transcript, and I am this close to beating your ass okay. right now. Okay, all right, calm down. Uh-uh, sorry. Uh, look, I talked to them. I told them that the store ripped off Brooke's design, so all we have to do is pay them back for the clothes and we can go, so. What do you want to do? Well, we should call somebody like our parents. Mine in California. Mine are in an RV somewhere. Mine's out to sea, or dead, or vanished. Operator. Hi, call to call, please. Nathan Scott. Okay, you can hate me for saying this, but maybe your problem isn't so much with Haley as it is with Ellie, your returning birth mother. No, Brooke. My problem is with anybody who just vanishes and then waltzes back in and expects to be instantly forgiven. Your problem is you're not going to have anybody help you paint this place. Tell me what my problem is. Wow. Sorry. Twin. Just a smidge. Cute. Move your ass, Haley. You are not setting a very good example. I noticed you weren't paying much attention to the tutorial. I know how to sew, Brooke. Come on. Get out, girls. These dresses are not going to sew themselves. Away. I'm sure this doesn't have anything to do with what's going on with It's not like they went on tour together. And besides, it's different this year. It is different, right? Yes. Bevin, you're late. And what are those? Cookies. Not those. Those. People. People. My brother Tommy, my sister Clara, and my niece is Jody. I promise I did this much today. They cute. <laughs> what the hell is she doing here? Oh, I caught her. You said to run up the squad. I didn't mean Rachel. You missed the tutorial. I missed the tutorial. I think I can wing it. These dresses look pretty simple. Simple? Uh, Brooke, it's actually a really good idea. We need all the help we can get. Haley, you're a genius. Hey, kids. Do you like to play dress up? Do. This is tutorial, girl. She's gonna teach you guys how to make a dress up. Sound like fun? I thought you were the new responsible Brooke. Oh, so last season, responsible Brooke is good. But party Brooke is good. Check it out. I get Lucas, Mouth. Half the guys on the team, I put my first choice this year, but we can do next match. Any and all lifeguards may be What? Larry. Whoa. Larry, like, my dad Larry? No way! So I get a fugitive and a married guy. Of course. He's my hot dad fantasy. Oh. Peyton, he is a total dill. And besides, I gave you Dan. And I get Dave Cole from the Foo Fighters. You get Jake, as promised. Nathan, but he comes with an asterisk because nobody knows what the hell is going on with him and Haley in high school married them, though. The other half of the guys on the team, Anna, because, well, you never know. And she was totally into you. And all the Riverport boys, skills, Fergie, and garbage. John. Right. And finally, the rest of the boys. Why do you get the I'm with the No way. So I get a fugitive and a married guy. Fine. You take Dave Grohl, I'm taking Anna. Deal. Deal. Okay, nighty night. Thanks, bye. Karen. Hi. Do you have fun tonight? Not really. 
party was kind of weak, but I had to be there. Apparently, I was drifting. You been drinking? No, drifting. <clears throat> no, Brooke. I'm asking you if you've been drinking tonight. Just a little. I expected you at the cafe. I know. I lost track of time. I'm sorry. Well, sorry isn't good enough. I advanced your salary, and I'd like you to return money. Go to bed. You're grounded. Grounded? <laughs> I've never been grounded in my whole life. Well, this is the first time for everything. Well, you're not my mom. No. But right now, you're my responsibility. But I was drifting. Broken and you had to have and all the other things. Um, uh -huh. Cool. Wait a second, you, you don't have a bed, do you? Did you? Tell me you didn't have sex in my bed. I'm already washing your shoes. Oh my god. Oh, Brooke. Oh. They already uh. yelled at me. What is the big deal? Oh, big deal. Now, first of all, you did not thank me for helping you with the CDs. Second of all, you had sex in my bed. A third, you ate all the brownies. Actually, I had a couple. That's not the point. Haley's right. The point is that I've been deceptive. It's not so much that I lied to anyone's face. It's more about my ideas. Oh, okay. There is a big difference between a lie and a little white lie. Real? Yeah. Okay, wait. What white lie? Nothing. Haley lied to me. Not exactly. Yes, you did. About what? Nothing, Haley. You know what? If we're talking about bad behavior, you might want to sit this one out. What is that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean that Peyton's the one you should be looking at, not Why? She's not the one acting like a pup or just a good wife. Ugh, why are you picking on Haley? She's throwing us a slumber party. Actually, she was throwing us a slumber party. You just butted in. Bro, leave her alone. What? What are you going to do, snort her? <gasps> Listen, I didn't throw this slumber party for you. You threw it for yourself, and you know it. Well, at least I didn't lie to my husband about hanging out with Chris. Whoa. Bro, well, Peyton did cooking that Rick got. Haley! What? You had sex in her bed! Okay. What is wrong with you, Gregor? Slut! Liar! Ah! <laughs> Trio's got some drama. 